Friday, February 23rd. As I've made it clear from the beginning, I support the Second Amendment. I believe people should be able to have handguns with all the proper requirements that are out there now. Rifles, long, long guns, fine. And we should not go in and take anyone's guns that they already own. However, we have to stop the sale of these assault weapons, the AR-15s, these weapons of war that all these people write into me here and on Facebook about how I don't know guns and I don't understand guns. Well, what I understand is this, and I've been saying it from the beginning, we said it right after Florida, the guns are the enablers. You go in, you go bang, 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 you put out 30 in a clip, you take people out, the ball game is over. It's not a one shot, it's multiple shots, and you just take people out. It's a mass destruction P machine. That's what it is, a weapon of war. And who supports it? The NRA. And man, did you see them at CPAC? They're foaming at the mouth. They're starting to have some real issues, Democratic Socialists. <laughs> The Democrats didn't have the backbone to do anything about what's going on here. The bottom line is simple. The NRA does not care about the Second Amendment. The NRA does not care about your rights to bear arms. The only thing the NRA cares about is their right to sell guns and ammunition. That's all they want to do. That's what they're in business to do. They're money grubbing. They're a part of the swamp. They're lobbyists. They buy off people. They're no different than any other lobbyists out there. And weapon sales haven't really been that great since President Trump's been there because people haven't, you know, they're not afraid like they always got with President Obama who did nothing. They're always afraid somebody's going to take their guns. Well, not these last, this last year, year and a half. People have been very happy. So the NRA has got to gin it up. The gun makers and mission makers say to NRA, gin it up. Get everybody worked up. Go to CPAC. Start talking about the world coming to an end and get everybody guns. Let's have everybody have guns. The teachers, let's the dogs come in with the guns. How about the cats? Let's have everybody come in and everybody can have an AR-15. So it'll be beautiful. Did you see all those kids walking down the hallway? How great would that have been if we had a shootout going in there? Talk about the mass slaughter. Come on. We don't have to sell any more AR-15s. And... I don't want to hear the argument. I love the NRA's argument. Everybody's argument. There's more crime and all the criminals have it in the states that have tough laws. That's not the real. The real is the states that have the easy laws make it easy to buy those guns so people can put them in a car and drive them up. And that's what they do. It's like what they used to do with cigarettes. They bring them up from down south to avoid the taxes and just bring them up in trucks and sell them. That's what goes on here. You go to Texas and buy it from some gun show. You go to Florida and buy it from some gun show. Stick in the car, just roll it on up and start selling. Look, you can only do so much. I have taken the position for years, the videos are all here, where I said you can't take people's guns just like you can't take people's cars. But what you can do is you can tax them hard. People laugh. They ain't laughing now. You can tax it hard. Tax it 10 times. Tax this, the ammunition 100 times. You don't have to do it with shotgun shells. You don't have to do it with handgun shells. But you can do it with some of those big things that go flying. How about the, all the others that do that incredible destruction of the human body? Don't come on to me and give me your technicality. You're this or that. The NRA doesn't care. Their business is to sell guns and ammunition. And what's even better is that the businesses are starting to stand up. So all you NRA members who used to get rental cars and be, you were able to get a discount because you're an NRA member, you're going to have more of a problem now, aren't you? You're going to have problem getting other stuff because the businesses are now saying, we have had enough. Enough of the swamp. Enough of the money grubbing gun makers and gun sellers, and I'm not the locals, the gun makers and the ammo makers who have put together this NRA, this lobbying group that is only there to sell this stuff and say, oh, I'm cloaking myself in the Second Amendment. And only those who don't see it coming, I feel bad for them because that's all they are. They're no different than any other lobbying group. And it's about time people stand up to them. And it's starting to happen. They'll just keep foaming at the mouth more, yelling and screaming, because not much is going to happen, but this is not going away. It's going to simmer. It's going to simmer, and things are going to start rocking as time gets closer and closer to the elections. Right on. It's about time we took those, that, comp that 
those companies on now. Goodbye, NRA. And please, subscribe, share us, put it out there, attack me like you'll do, like I always know you're going to do. I don't care about guns and what I know about guns. We've got to quit killing our kids. we got to stop it. Peace.